SH Figure Arts Great Saiyaman was released domestically here in Japan on the 21st of February as a Bandai Premium Web Exclusive at the retail price of 6,264 yen or roughly about 55 US dollars. So first up the packaging, not going to spend too much time on it as we've all seen uh, Figure Arts Dragon Ball packaging before, whites and greens this time for Great Saiyaman. Uh, all the important logos at the front, as well as Bandai's quality seal of approval. Top and bottom. Sides. And of course, the back. So we first get introduced to Great Saiyaman in the Boo arc, uh, Gohan disguising himself uh, with a suit made by Bulma as the crime-fighting, city-protecting hero known as Great Saiyaman. The figure itself um, is a very accurate, I think, representation of the animation manga. Bright, solid, molded greens uh, used for the gi, uh, which is completely a completely new sculpt, uh, soft rubber plastic used on the bottom half, uh, which I was worried would restrict articulation, but thankfully doesn't. Uh, there is a bit of shading around the bottom half of the torso, you can see underneath the belt here, and uh, under the arms as well, so it's not completely lacking. The belt is a separate black molded piece with some gold painted detailing on the buckle, uh, painted detail on the watch Gohan uses to transform into Great Saiyan Man, and they've actually gone to the extent of giving us a watchless forearm option, uh, which I think is pretty nice. We get some gold painted detail also on the cape piece, uh, which attaches to his gi, and this piece here is actually made of really soft rubbery plastic, uh, more so than the bottom half of uh, Gohan's gi. Uh, it works, and you can remove it uh, to give Gohan his capeless look, the rest of the cape is a solid piece of plastic, uh, so if you like plastic capes, it's pretty well sculpted, I guess, for a plastic cape. But the cape attaches to Gohan's back, and uh, you can remove it, of course, as I mentioned earlier, and replace the gap with a, a filler piece, a green filler piece for his back, just like Mr. Sutton and uh, Master Roshi. Just going over the uh, head sculpts, I'm going to go with my favorite first, the uh, Super Saiyan 2 head sculpt, which looks phenomenal. Uh, I'm going to be using this for another body, probably uh, with the Goku 2.0 body, uh, once I pick up another one. Or I might just wait for the uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, since uh, that, that figure has the more accurate uh, gi. The, uh, the shirt is cut deeper, so I might be using that instead. But just a really... Really beautiful looking head sculpt, uh, very clean paint apps. The uh, Super Saiyan 2 head and the base head that you also get in this set aren't your traditional head sculpt where you can uh, swap the faces out. It's just one facial expression, uh, which I'm totally cool with. Um, but yeah, it's just the head sculpt with the face. You can't swap the faces. Going on to Great Saiyan Man's uh, helmeted head beautiful glossy metallic colors used here uh, it has a really really nice shiny finish to it i'm really happy uh, with this head sculpt as well the antenna are a soft uh, are a soft plastic and have you know some flex to them um i'm not going to be bending them too much i don't recommend bending them too much but just in case you do break or lose one of the antenna uh tamashi have included a spare set for you um yeah so really thoughtful of them the uh, second great Saiyan Man head we get in this set is the bandana and sunglasses head. Again, no complaints here. Uh, looks accurate to the anime, uh, the manga. Sunglasses are a separate piece, and I have seen some people remove the sunglasses, but my copy seems to be, um, the glasses seem to be on there a little tighter, and uh, I'm not going to risk, you know, forcing it out because I don't want to break anything, but, uh, you know, what you're left with, uh, so I've seen uh, on Instagram, uh, is these two holes, I guess, indents uh, for where the sunglasses, for where the sunglasses peg into. So you can't actually use the uh, sunglasses with other heads, and the sunglasses are only intended for you to use uh, on this particular head sculpt. 
And on to the last head, Gohan's base head, which is probably the only thing about this set that feels a little off personally for me. I know others have voiced their dislike of the head sculpt and I can definitely see where they're coming from. I don't know, I don't really know what's wrong with the head sculpt. I, I don't hate it and it doesn't look horrible, but I don't like it either. It's not the eyes. It's definitely not the eyes. I don't feel that they are too big. A lot of people said that they are too big. Uh, Gohan did have similar drawn eyes in the, in the anime and manga. I think it's the way the nose and the mouth are sculpted. It just looks like he has, you know, like he's doing some pouty kissy lips, if that makes any sense. Again, I don't really like it, uh, but if you do, that's totally cool too. Uh, but for me, I hope we get another shot at a base Gohan head because I would really love a uh, 2.0 Ultimate Gohan uh, figure or at least a head sculpt of, um, of Gohan in that form. Head articulation for Great Saiyan Man looking up. Not too much, a little restricted, but he does look down quite a bit because of his neck joint. Uh, he does move side to side, swivel side to side. And he tilts his head left to right, again because of the very good neck joint. Great so man, bandana head, again, doesn't look up too much, actually uh, a little worse than a Great Saiyan Man helmet, but he does look down pretty well. Again, side to side, left to right, no problems there. And head tilt. Base Gohan head looks up a little bit better. Looks down quite well. Side to side. And of course we have the uh, head tilt as well. Very good neck joint here. Very good. And last head sculpt. The uh, Super Saiyan 2 head sculpt. Uh, same as the base. It looks up about that much, looks down that much, very far down, left, right, and head tilt. On to the other parts of articulation, he does move his uh, shoulders past 90 degrees, you have to get his uh, green gi shoulder part out of the way, 360 there at the shoulders. He does have an upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, just push that right up there. And of course he does have the uh, standard swivels and hinges at the wrist. Gohan does have an upper and lower torso joint, so he doesn't bend forward, doesn't have much of an ab crunch, but he does bend back a lot further. Uh, he does have a upper waist, upper torso swivel and a lower waist swivel as well. He does tilt side to side, so there is a decent range of motion there. Uh, he does the splits and again the uh, bottom of the gi doesn't restrict articulation. He kicks forward and back really well, splits all the way. Double jointed knees. Rotation at the ankles. Moves his foot quite far down and quite far up as well. Just got to push it up there. He does have toe articulation and ever so slight ankle tilt as well. Not the best. So for accessories, we get two open palm hands that uh, fan out and two open palm hands that uh, face in as well. So they are different uh, the way that they are angled. We also get two fisted hands, your standard fists, 
a pair of two fighting pose hands. Uh, left, the left and the right are different. And we get two open palm blast hands as well. Going over the heads, we do get the uh, great Saiyan Man head helmet. Again, it's really nice, uh, really nicely painted, very shiny. Uh, the antenna are a soft plastic, and you do get a replacement uh, set of antenna, uh, just in case you do snap it off or lose, lose a piece. Uh, but the great thing about this head is that you can interchange the, uh, the mouth. You take off the bottom half of the helmet, remove the mouthpiece, and you can interchange it with a shouting mouthpiece, like so. And that looks pretty good, I think. Gives you a couple of options. Look here on the side. You also get his bandana head sculpt with sunglasses and shouting face. Gohan's base head. And of course the Super Saiyan 2 head sculpt as well. Alright guys, for the all important head swaps. So uh, to my left, I have the uh, original Son Goku uh, body mold. Uh, I have the 2.0 the newer Goku body mold uh, raised on Earth. I have the Super Saiyan God Goku body mold Yamcha, and of course uh, Super Saiyan Trunks as well. Uh, so we're going to go through both heads, the base head first. Um, the peg is a little small and won't uh, won't fit the base head at all. It's gonna it's gonna be really really loose. But just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like, um, and I think it fits pretty well. I mean, if you can actually um, I guess customize it to fit on this body I think works quite well going on to the Super Saiyan 2 head and again um, I don't know it, it looks a little small and I think that might be because of um, the way that the face is sculpted but it doesn't look too bad again it's not going to fit um, the peg is too small for the head but just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like all right moving on to the Saiyan raised on earth body mold again pegs too small so too loose won't be able to fit on there but if you can customize it uh, this is what it looks like and again not too bad i think this body uh, works a little a little better proportion wise with the super saiyan 2 head yeah i think this looks uh, a little better than the uh, the original uh, goku body mold so I might be able, I might be uh, able to customize one of these guys for that particular head. Uh, going to the Super Saiyan God body mold, slimmer arms. The uh, the torso is different, but this is what it looks like. It gives Gohan a slimmer look, in my opinion. Not too bad. And the Super Saiyan two head. I think this looks actually quite good. I think the uh, the head sculpt, the size of the head sculpt, uh, and the body matches uh, really well. All right, moving on to Yamcha. So Yamcha again, uh, very similar sculpts to the uh, Goku, but um, yeah, head sculpt won't fit on there because uh, the peg is the ball the ball joint is too small. But not too bad. I think I like that actually. It, it does remind me of the uh, Piccolo Gi uniform. So if you are able to, you know, color that purple, paint it purple, I think it uh, it might look pretty nice. Here he is with the Super Saiyan two head sculpt, and this looks pretty good too. I think. Just got to use your imagination. Purple Gi. red belt and finally on to the last body uh, which is the Super Saiyan Trunks body and this uh, ball peg does match um, Great Saiyan Man's uh, ball peg so it, it will fit it's exactly the same size it's a bit hard to get on there and I'm, I'm gonna struggle here but um, just gotta line it up just gotta line it up 
and eventually you'll get it on there. Snug fit. And there we go. I don't remember Gohan ever uh, at this uh, stage of his... Um, at this stage having uh, or wearing this costume, but uh, it does look pretty nice, I think. You can have him as a, I guess, a separate, a separate Saiyan or a different Saiyan character. Looks pretty cool. And just gonna take that off. And finally, the Super Saiyan 2 head, which I think, in my opinion, looks the best uh, on this body. Looks really nice, if you can get it on. Again, really tight fit, but it will get on there, it will fit on there. And uh, yeah, there we go. Really nice. Alright guys, i got to be honest with you, despite not being my favourite version of Gohan, I actually kind of enjoyed this figure. It's not great, for me it's more of a, a solid good figure. Um, I really only have two gripes um, with this set, and one of them isn't the base head, um, surprisingly. The cape, the cape annoys me, but again, this just could be my copy, and his feet, my second gripe, um, are very much like the uh, Super Saiyan trunks, the Cell Saga trunks, um, which is really hard to get into standing poses. I don't know what it is, uh, if it just has weak joints or the joints are too long, uh, but the joints don't support the weight of the figure, unfortunately, and it is really a hassle to get him or to get Gohan um, both feet flat on the ground, standing up straight. Again, I know this figure isn't for everyone now that pre-orders are out in Japan. Um, secondary markets, prices are high. Um, not sure if Bluefin will bring this figure over to the States, um, but you might be able to get him uh, off popular um, toy, site, toy websites like Big Bad Toys. But uh, yeah, I really wouldn't go for more than 80 uh, on the secondary market. Uh, but if you really want him, um, I guess, you know, you, re you really have to have him. Uh, in saying that, uh, Great Saiyan Man is definitely a unique release uh, with some fantastic accessories. Uh, extremely expressive because of those said accessories and a good range of articulation overall and just an all-round solid figure. Uh, the Super Saiyan 2 head alone for me uh, was the one thing that sold this figure for me, uh, if nothing else. Um, I'll be using, again, um, like I said, like I mentioned earlier, that head probably on a base Goku uh, body mold and keeping it, you know, keeping it as is and cus or customizing it as a Piccolo Gohan, Piccolo D Gohan. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that review. I know I was a little late to the game, uh, just been really, really busy with work recently. Uh, anyway, make sure you follow me on Franken Culture. Uh, you can catch me on there. I'll be posting photos of uh, the figures I review, uh, other videos from my channel, and a whole lot of other really cool stuff um, that's pop culture related. Not just collectibles and Dragon Ball, uh, but links will be in the description um, down below, so do check that out. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Hit that bell button to make sure you get notifications for my upcoming videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best, and I'll be seeing you all real soon. Bye for now.